what's going on people back again with another video first of all thank you for you guys being here watching my video this is your boy Kevin today I got another interesting uh, product for you guys today we got I actually got it today I actually received it today yes we got the note 8 pro ready from Xiaomi just came in today so today what we're gonna do we're gonna unbox it go through through it then I'm gonna come back after two weeks when I fully use this use the camera see how the performance is how is the gaming on this is like the whole thing then I'm gonna let you guys know exactly in two weeks if this phone is worth it or if it's not worth it and this one is the global version it's not the Chinese version it's the global version so this one is different than the the Chinese version so yeah Let's get into the video. Before we start the video, don't forget to press the subscribe button, press the bell for video notifications, and let's get into this video. That's how the kind of box it comes in. Took, took me uh, one week to get this. I'm gonna put in the description where you guys can grab this from. The cost of this is uh, $265. It comes in three different colors, yeah. This one is the ocean, uh, ocean blue there's a dark blue there's a black one and there's a red one yes so yeah let's get into this let's open it it's very heavy let's see first what it comes with okay it's one shop so you get everything in one package you get the phone case let's check it out that's how the phone case is. It's like dark, transparent black. That's why it kind of it is transparent black. So that's that. Let's see what else does it come with. You get a plug, but it's a Euro plug. But they give me a a, a transfer thing for it. Uh, let me show you guys. This is the transfer thing. So. They give me this. So I grab this, I stick it in there, well, then it turns it through a US plug. Very cool for them to give you this. Also, yeah, empty box, there's nothing else in there. So that's pretty much what they give you with this phone. The phone is a little bit on the heavy side. Let's open it. Mine is black color. I got the black one, I like black colors, so I got the black one. So you got one camera, two camera, three camera, four camera. This one I think is the fingerprint scanner then you got the front let's take this out let's take this thing out throw it away I hate when I put that on does it have a screen protection on it no nope. so pretty much you have to put your own screen protection this one's with uh, Gorilla Glass 5 in the front and Gorilla Glass 5 in the back so you get both sides for protection so yeah that's pretty much it you got dual sim that's the sim tray there's your speakers there's your headphone jack you guys know what I mean by that, headphone jack, and one button here, one button here, and that's pretty much it, and you got the flash. Now. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to boot it up, put all my information inside, get it ready, and I'm going to come back, then we're going to go through the specs and everything together, so I see you guys in a minute. Guys, I'm back, I had to set up the phone, it's fully set up now, I put all my information in, and the phone is ready to go. So let's get in with the specs right now. So this phone, it's got Snapdragon 730 and it's got a 6.47 inch display, a 1080 by 2340 pixels. Battery is 526 milliamp. It's running on Android 9 Pie. Some people call it VIP. Storage is 256 gigabytes of storage, no SD slot. So none of that. You do not get wireless charging. That's pretty bad. But you got 30 watt fast charging. Xiaomi says that it can charge your phone from uh, 0 to 50% in 30 minutes. That's what they say. So that's pretty much it for the specs guys. So now let's get into the actual phone. Let's get into it. So you got a, you got a back a fingerprint scanner. It's here. It's not in the front on this phone. And you got face unlock. So let's try the fingerprint first. 
Let's go. See how quick unlocks it. Boom. Let's try it again. It's not as quick as you think it should be, but it's not. Let's try the face ID. Boom. Face ID unlocks right away. Let's try it again. Boom. That is so fast, guys. The face. Boom. ASAP. So now, you guys know me, I always start from the top settings. Let's get in from the top setting. Let's see what it's got. So you got your mobile data. You got your uh, Wi-Fi, your flashlight. I always check on my flashlights. I love the flashlights on phones because I always lose stuff. Yeah, the flashlight is pretty bright. Let's turn it off. Then you got your uh, mute. You got your screenshot. You got your Bluetooth, auto brightness. You got your airplane mode, lock screen, GPS, rotate off or on. Then we go here, you got your end, you got your battery saver, you got your hotspot, you got your sync, and you got your NFC. Yes, NFC. This phone comes with NFC. Let's get into the front. If you guys can see, this phone is pretty damn quick. Like, there is no lag at all. Like, if you guys see, there is no lag. Like, this phone is so fast. Like, like I'll tell you guys something right now. Like, I use my uh, Realme X2 pro and that one is running on snapdragon um 850 and i compare this one with that one i'm telling you guys you guys will not know the difference between the 850 snapdragon and the 730 snapdragon they're all the same like i'm telling you guys people pay extra money for that for the 850 uh, snapdragon but i'm if you compare both of them together, the speed is the same. Your download is the same. Process is the same. Everything is the same. Like I'm telling you guys, it's the same thing. But yeah, if you guys can see hardly any lag, it's beautiful. Like you guys look at that. No lag. So now let's get into the actual settings and I'm going to show you guys the multi tax and everything on this phone. Let's get into the settings. Okay, so you got uh, my device. My device is, uh, it tells you your information of your device and stuff. And as soon as you set up this phone, you, it makes you to set up your phone finder. So if you lose your phone, this phone will track it, tell you where exactly it is. You can actually track it through GPS and you can find your phone. So you got your system apps. Let's go here. Pretty much that's nothing there. Then you got your security status. Find device, security updates, Google Play Protect, etc., etc. Then you got your uh, SIM card mobile networks. You got your dual SIM in here so you can change your SIMs. Then you got your uh, Wi Fi, Bluetooth, more. Let's go to more. You got your VPN, airplane mode, data use, Bluetooth, uh, wireless display, and NFC, Android B. You got your uh, lock screen, your display. This phone does not get that bright. That's the only thing about this phone. This phone is LCD. It's and not your contrast. So you can set it up any of these you want. Cool, warm, default. And let's keep it at cool. Let's keep it there. So yeah, let's see you got a little bit more uh, bluer. You got your dark mode. You got your tech size. You got your notch status bar. So you can uh, say so if you don't like this, uh, your uh, front camera, it bothers you. You can lock it up and you can take the notch away. So you doesn't bother you. Uh, doesn't bother you because some people don't like the notch. So they put that there so you can get rid of it. So you can put it on full screen. So the notch is not there. And you got your uh, sound and vibrations. This is sound. This phone does not get that loud either does not get that loud it's got only one speaker so if you any if you cover the speaker you're not going to really hear anything if you're playing game and you're going like this you're not going to hear anything guys and you got your uh, notifications so you can uh, set up anything that you prefer then you got your uh, wallpapers you got your temps you got your passport and security that's where you set up your f fingerprint and your face unlock very easy, very fast to set it up. Then you got your battery performance. Pretty much is right there. Then you got your uh, additional settings. So time, date, uh, region. Um, if any regions that you are, you can set it up here. So the phone knows. I'm in Canada, so I set it up at Canada, Vancouver. Then you got your uh, digits and uh, webbing. Let's go back. Then you got your special features. So you got your game turbo, you got your uh, quick replies, so you can set any of them you like. 
Then you got uh, my uh, MI account. You have to set that up when you uh, when you first uh, set up the phone. They make you set it up. Then you got your Google account sync and feedback. So that's pretty Just much what this multi taxing. Very easy on this phone to do multi taxing. Let's do it. So you press this square thing here. So you're here. Say I want to go here. I hold on it like this. Then I press the square thing. Boom, so that's up there. Then I can grab another app. Let's say I want to grab this one. Then I have this one at the bottom. So that's your multi-taxing. So you can do whatever up here and you can do whatever you want down here. So that's how easy it is. So if you guys can see up there and down here. Let's see how this phone performs on gaming. So let's check it out. Before I start playing the game, I want to tell you guys to download the game. It is so fast. It's exactly as fast as my uh, Realme X2 or my Note 10 Plus. Same speed. So a Snapdragon 855 or you got the Snapdragon 730. Same thing, guys. It's all the same. The, if you compare them, it's all the same. Same speed. So let's play. Let's see how the game performance is. I'm not a good gamer. So sorry if I'm not that good. But the display is pretty nice. You guys see that? The colors are beautiful. Performs really good. This phone does not have any lag. So if you want to play games, you're good to go on this phone. This phone can handle gaming. It could actually handle it. You can play some heavy games in this. And you should not have any problem. Just if I cover, see if I'm playing like this, I cannot hear anything. Because the speaker is right there. So that's the only thing I don't like about this phone. So you got to put a... Uh, headphones on if you're playing games if you want to cover the speakers you're screwed but performance beautiful this phone can handle like I'm telling you guys can handle you can throw at anything and you will actually take it good performance budget smart it's flagship for phone. gaming so now let's see the video quality in this phone this video that you guys see in the back was recorded at uh, 4k 60 feet per second I recorded that video in the background with my Realme X2 Pro. So let's see how it's, uh, the video quality is on this phone. You guys can see beautiful video quality. Beautiful, beautiful video quality. Just is not that loud. Like if you guys can see, it's just, um, they should have put at least two speakers, you know? Why you put only one speaker in this phone? Such a nice phone. One speaker? That's that's disgusting. Yeah, but uh, for uh, video quality, this phone passed my test. This thing can handle. You can play. You can watch Netflix. You can watch YouTube videos. You can sit and just actually watch videos in this phone. And it's got a huge ass battery. And this phone, you can sit and watch videos for like probably 10 hours. I'm telling you guys. And if you charge it, it will only take you, what, half an hour to half charge? Or a 15 minutes charge, you got like what? Pretty much like enough to watch a movie on it. So yeah, that's for uh, video quality. This phone, good performance. Beautiful performance. Passes my test. Beautiful. Beautiful. So now, let's see how the camera quality is on this phone. Let's... So now we're in the camera section. So, for camera, so I'm in the photo section. You go here. Let's go to settings. So you got your uh, save location info, camera sound, pocket mode. So if you put it in your pocket, the camera doesn't come on. Then you got micro front camera. Then you got your water mark off and on for a uh, picture quality. Let's see. So you got your high, standard, and low. Let's leave it a high. That's for the camera. Let's go for video. Let's see. This thing records 4K videos. Say uh, 30 feet per second. Let's go here. This is uh, this one is uh, the global version, so it's a little bit different than uh, the Chinese version. So if you guys can see the video recording, it, it's an H.264 high uh, compatibility. So if in Chinese version, it will be different. But here, so if I if I put it on here, that's in 4K right now. Then you go here. It says 60 hertz, so that's 60, 50 hertz, and auto. So if you guys can see, it's way different than the Chinese version. That's the only difference between the global version. The only thing I, I wanted to explain to you guys, I did a video on my uh, Realme X2 Pro, the global version, 
and I did a video, I said the global, the global version is not that good. Because the global version on the Realme X2, you cannot use Google, a Google Voice, you cannot uh, download certain apps. If you guys want to check that, uh, that, that video, you guys should uh, check out in my uh, video section. Check out the Realme X2 Pro, uh, the global version. Check out that video. If you guys decide to buy a Realme X2 global version, check out that video before you buy that phone. So yeah, let's get into this. So you got your short video, you got your slow motion, then let's go to the left, then you got your 6M. -M. So if you guys can see, it brings it like it just opened it, like it's so wide, like so your so wide. Then you got your portrait, you got your night mode, you got your paranormal, and you got your pro mode. Pro mode is for people that uh, they know how to uh, take photos and adjust stuff. And this phone has got beauty. For the girls up there, this phone's got a beauty. So if you guys want to look more prettier, this phone can make you look much, much, much prettier. So, yeah. And for the front two, for the, say if you want to take a video, let me show you guys. If you want to take a video, you can actually do your front um, uh, beauty too. So you can play around with the front beauty too. So if you're taking front pictures, you can actually uh, play with the, uh, with the beauty too. So yeah, that's pretty much for the camera. Um, uh, let me see what else can I show you guys. So you got, let's go here, let's go. So you got your uh, AI, you got your uh, flower thing up there, you got your star, so you can adjust any of these, Viva, uh, warm, film, whatever any of these you like. Let's see here, so you got your Google Lens and you got your, yeah, that's pretty much it for the camera. I took some pictures and some videos and you guys should check them out you guys let me know what you guys think i think the pictures and the video on this phone were excellent excellent you guys let me know in the comments what you guys think about the pictures and the videos that this phone took so let's check out the videos and the pictures i think i should go to the other lane these are all broken yeah they're all broken i think people pick this one like all the good ones are gone. If you go further in, three weeks since I've been using this phone. I'm gonna give us the full review what I think about this phone. I've been using it exactly for three weeks and I've been using it for my actual personal phone. Like I'm telling you guys, I have so many phones and I've been actually using this phone. That's the way I like to do my reviews. I like to use the same phone for like three weeks, not like just do a quick review like other people do. Oh, this is good, this is good. And uh, they don't even know the performance after, like how does it perform, how does it handle. Like I actually take it with, out and I use it for a personal phone. Then I come out and I tell you guys the actual review about this phone. So this is the Note 8 Pro Xiaomi. I've been using it for three weeks, I already told you guys. And I love this phone. It handles great. Like I'm telling you guys, whatever you throw at this phone, it will take it. I like play heavy games on this phone. And the battery lasts for so long. I use this phone like multitasking, like I played games with it. I took pictures and like browsing through the internet and I used it like so heavily guys. And the phone, I got home and I still had 10% left battery left in this phone. And I plugged it in. It took about 15 minutes, got like halfway charged. So you got the 30 watt uh, fast charger actually does work really good. The performance is really good, and I told you guys before, 730 Snapdragon compared to, uh, I got the Realme X2 right here, that's uh, 855 Snapdragon, same speed, same performance guys, I'm telling you guys, like it's actually the same, like I actually compared it, it's all the same. So my opinion on this phone, it is worth the money for $265, it is actually worth it, 
it's a really good phone to own. It takes good pictures, good videos, performs good. So yes, it's actually worth it for budget flagship phone. That's what I'm calling this phone. It's a plus one. It's a really good phone. So yeah, that's pretty much for my review for this phone. Just wanted to let you guys know it is worth to buy it. This is the global version. If you guys don't like the global version, the global version, something different about it is you get like, so the Chinese version, you get the downloads faster, like uh, like updates. The global version, you get a little bit later. So that's pretty much the difference of it is. And global version is you can use it anywhere in the world pretty much. That's what global version is. It's unlocked to any carrier in the world. Yes. So I'm going to pretty much end the video here. Thank you for you guys being here, watching my video. Do not forget to press the subscribe button, press the bell for uh, new video notifications. And I'm going to catch you guys on my next video. So peace out for now.